Okay, we're going to change some settings here just to increase the visibility of uh, curves when we're drawing curves and editing curves and lines for that matter. And just to show you an example of this, we'll go to our jewelry tab and come across to the first icon here, the gauge tool. And my region set up for UK and I'm using a size L. Don't worry about the region and the sizing. What we're just wanting to place is a circle on screen just to demonstrate the issue here. So just whatever region you're set to and whatever size you're defaulting to, that's all right. Just click the check mark here to close down the gauge tool. Now you'll see that you'll have a, a, a black thin circle on your screen which represents the gauge. If you select it, it changes color and default is this sort of purpley color but it is a bit hard to see it doesn't matter if we're in this wireframe mode which we default to if your screen's not maximized as mine is let me just show you how to do that if you've opened up a new drawing if you just double click on the name of the window it will maximize that viewport for you so just double click on that to maximize the viewport but you'll see if I move across here and look at the different display modes over here, it doesn't matter if I'm in wireframe, which I'm in, or shaded mode, or rendered mode, that curve is still a bit hard to see. So what I like to do is change some default settings here. And we do that by coming across to the file menu and to the options. And in our options, you may need to scroll down in your options dialog box. And it may take a few moments to load uh, this, this little window. But once that's open, just scroll down. And right at the very bottom, there's the word view with a little plus symbol there. If you just click on that, there'll be another little plus sign next to the word display mode. So just click on the little plus sign there. And these are all the different uh, display modes that you saw across on the right hand side of our screen in that little shortcut menu. So the first one is our wireframe display mode. So select that and under the option objects there's a little plus sign as well. Click on that and we'll come down to this one here called curves. I'd just like you to click on that and by default you'll see that the curve width is one pixel. So we're going to just make that a bit bigger. I like to change it to three just to make that more visible. And we'll just close that one down here and we'll close the wireframe mode there and come over to your shaded display. So under shaded we again click on the objects and in the shaded mode we also want to change our curve thickness. The width again is set by default to one pixel. Just click in this little box here to adjust that up to three and we'll just close that and come across to your rendered display mode and once again in the rendered option here we'll click on the plus symbol to select objects and curves once again and we'll change this default width of one here as well to three. So make sure when you've made those three changes to click the OK button to save those changes. Now you'll see immediately that that's a lot easier to see and that thickness will remain regardless of which of those three display modes we use. So hopefully that little tip will help you through the rest of the tutorials and exercises and uh, it took me many years to, to find that and figure that out so I'm sure that's a little tip that will help you along the way. Okay, see you in the next tutorial.